In tutorial 10, we will add and display Landsat data in ArcMap. We will also set up processing environments and explore the image analysis window. This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing outreach, education, and research, with funding from the America View Consortium. This video was developed in partnership with the Virginia Geospatial Extension Program and GeoTED. To begin, make sure you have downloaded and unzipped the Landsat image from tutorials 8 and 9, and open ArcMap. Click the Add Data button at the top of ArcMap. Navigate to the workspace where you saved your unzipped Landsat images. Select all seven bands that you downloaded, and these are designated with the last two digits of the file name should be B1, B2, and so forth through band 7. Shift click to add them all at once. Once you click add, you will get a message asking if you want to create pyramids. You'll actually see this message seven separate times. Click yes in the dialog box and just leave all of the default parameters the same. Click yes each time that you're given the same prompt, which should be a total of seven times, one for each band. The images should now be listed in your table of contents as separate layers. You will only actually see the image for band 1 in the map document because it's the layer on the top of the table of contents. You can uncheck each layer to make the one beneath it visible. We can get more information about any of these Landsat scenes by looking at the layer properties. Right click on the layer and go to properties. Next, you want to click on the Source tab, and as you can see, there's a lot of information here, so you can scroll down to look through all of it. First, go to the Geoprocessing menu, then the Environment Settings. Make sure that your workspace, your current workspace and Scratch workspace, are set to the directory where you want to save new images. Then we're going to go to the Windows menu and Image Analysis. And this opens up the Image Analysis menu. This menu is where you can access many different functions that we'll cover in later tutorials. You'll notice that if you click on any of the layer names in the upper part of the window, that different options become available to you in lower parts of the window.